So this is a project that I worked on about a year ago for a computer audio class at Georgia Tech. I used processing because it was easiest to work with since I needed decent sound and graphics libraries. Plus I could use Java and I feel pretty comfortable with it. So the original idea was inspired by Reactable and uh, if you don't know what that is, look it up, it's pretty cool. I wanted to make something that's very simple and lets anyone make music. Of course, uh, this is pretty much the very first attempt, so it's way simpler than what I would want it to be. But the basic idea is this. You can plop down sounds on the circular field, and the way they play depends on where they're positioned. Each sound plays repeatedly on a beat, and the closer it is to the center, uh, the faster it plays. The radial position determines the pitch of that sound. And uh, my original idea was to make the changes in speed and pitch continuous, but that didn't quite work because the sounds never aligned right and it was really hard to make any sorts of um, consistent beat with more than just one sound. So I ended up limiting how much freedom you actually have. And uh, this is what I have. So I have seven instruments. Three of them are drums, like this one and three of them are single note instrument like this one and one is a two note instrument I also have different filters that you can apply to the instrument and they are volume down um, like this button right here and uh, volume up and yes they should probably be ideally some sort of knobs or um, sliders, but for now this was all just buttons on the screen. Uh, there's a reverse sound which plays it backwards. Uh, you can't really hear it on that one. Let's see if this one is better. Yes. Um, this one dampens the sound. And this one offsets the beat of the sound. Basically, um, Every sound has its own heartbeat, but they all start with the same one. So if I want two sounds to play at the same time and at the same speed, that's easy, because it's just automatically going to do it. But if I want them to alternate, then I need to manually offset it, and this button will do it for me. So now they're offset. And there's uh, four pitches only for each instrument. The drums don't have a pitch, because they're drums. The other instruments do, and the pitch determines uh, is determined by the quadrant that the instrument is in. So in this quadrant, there will be this sound, over here will be that one, and that and that. And now let's see if we can make something cool with it.